Hey everybody, it's Carolyn from Crop Candy Scrapbooking and the Scrapbook School. And today I wanna to show you a very simple beach themed layout using gloss spray. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is um, Media Di Dina Wakely, <laughs> couldn't see it. Dina Wakely uh, Media Gloss Spray. It's a, a glossy acrylic spray. Um, and uh, you use it to, uh, well, it says it, it sprays to a, dries to a glossy finish, and you can spray it on media journals, chipboard shapes, uh, and other pore surfaces. So I actually use it to create um, a white cap on waves. You know how like when you go to the beach and you kind of see that the white caps on top of the waves. So I thought it would be kind of cool to play around with this gloss spray and create a white cap effect on a wave that I made using um, Cricut die cuts. So let's take a look and I'll show you how to use the gloss spray the way I thought it would make sense to use the gloss spray. And then I will show you how I laid it out on the page. So let's take a look. One of the first things you wanna do when you're using gloss spray is to get a box preferably with high sides so that the spray doesn't go all over your work surface. You should give it a good shake. And I've found that if you spray very close to your uh, piece of paper, you're gonna get that condensed look. And if you spray further away, you get more of a dispersed look. So it kind of depends on what, what kind of effect you want. Um, because I'm do going to be doing this on uh, ocean waves I want it more of a dispersed look now you don't really need to pat this dry because it actually dries pretty fast but I just did it anyway so here I have my waves I cut these out from Cricut design space and I'm just lightly misting over the die cut because again I want more of a dispersed look so I can get that kind of ocean spray effect And here's what I came up with. I'm pretty satisfied with that. It looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set it aside and work on my layout. So as you can see, you've got that kind of yellow look. What I did was I took some um, ink and I sponged uh, some yellow uh, stamping ink on the background of my white paper. So it kind of gives you the effect of like a sunny day. And what I'm doing now is I've pulled a zip strip from the top of one of the pattern papers of the Beach Party collection, and I'm using it uh, to create a top border. I love zip strips for this reason because they're so versatile. I actually collect zip strips. So if you get a sheet of paper and you have that little design at the top, don't toss it out. You can actually use it as an embellishment on your page. And I'm also here adding another thinner strip um, this is not a zip strip. I just cut about, this looks like about three eighths of an inch uh, to kind of round out my border at the top of my page. And I used a glue pen because my adhesive tape runner is just too fat to uh, use with the, the little thin strip. Now I'm about to apply these um, die cuts for, that are of sand. I found them within Cricut Design Space. I thought they would make a nice effect on my page to go with the waves. And I'm using uh, glitter paper because I wanted sort of that textury look of sand. And the cool thing about this die cut is that it's duotone. So one uh, piece is darker than the other. So fortunately I was able to find a light color gold glitter paper and a dark color gold glitter paper to make this work. So I was really happy with how this turned out. Now I'm putting my waves on top and I love this. It is so <laughs> cool how this turned out. At least I think it looks cool. And I'm gonna curl the tops of the waves just slightly. Um, it will have that little dimensional look once I put it in the page protector. So I think it makes it look a little nicer too. I, I like adding dimension on my pages where I can. Speaking of dimension, 
I'm applying my photo to a mat and I use foam tape to make the photo pop off of the page. And then finally just putting some regular adhesive on the back and then uh, place it on the page where I like it. I really like how this has come, oh yeah, we want to make sure that we put it right side up. <laughs> I really like how this is coming together with the, the beach in the photo and the beach on the page. Now I'm going to take um, some stickers. These stickers are so fun. And I'm going to do my usual applying foam tape to them, but first using the uh, EK, EK Success powder tool to remove the powder. Now you don't have to do that if you're going to be using foam tape. I just like to remove all bits of adhesive from the phone or from the back of the sticker before I apply the foam tape. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to do that, but um, it just makes the piece less sticky. Um, it makes it like a die cut actually. And when you apply the foam tape, it's just, it's just something that I like to do. And now I'm going to add a little beach ball because you know, you always see beach balls on the sand. Now, one thing about the, uh, powder tool. If you can't find the EK Success powder tool, one of my viewers actually provided this good tip. Tip: You could take a uh, like a small craft jar and add um, cornstarch or baby powder because what's in the EK Success powder tool is just baby powder. And put a little cornstarch or baby powder in the craft jar and then take a makeup brush and just uh, use that to apply the powder to the back of your sticker. So that's, that's a good tip. Thank you for supplying that viewer. Now I'm going to use these uh, Picture My Life cards, which are essentially uh, pocket cards for pocket scrapbooking, but I also like to use these on my layout because they're really versatile. As you can see, they come in three by four size or four by six. So again, use them on your layouts or use them in uh, your pocket scrapbooking projects. You can see they're double-sided with uh, various orientations and um, I'm going to use one of the ones that is a journaling card. And now I'm going to add um, a couple of embellishments to my title. I've got this nice conch shell. I also use foam tape on that. And I'm going to use these sunglasses. Yeah, it makes sense right there. That works. And then lastly, for finishing touch, just to add a little sparkle to my fun beach day page, I'm going to bring out these OG uh, gems from close to my heart. I have like a thousand of these <laughs> in my stash and I'm going to just add uh, some blue sparkle bits around and round out my embellishment clusters. And that is the final layout. I really like how it turned out. It is so cute. I can't wait to give this to my friend uh, so she can add her journaling and just, you know, remember her fun day at the beach. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your summer and enjoying your time at the beach and be sure to pick up beach party paper collection at cropcandy.net slash shop thanks for watching and happy scrapping